A British pub is a social meeting place, so it's a place where someone wants to go and drink five or six pints, or if you're like me, maybe 12 to 15, um, and not have to worry about the, the level of the ABV and only having one or two, because you want to make that pub experience a five hour event versus a two pint, two hour event. We are at Seneca Lake Brewing Company, which is also home to the cozy pub called Bureaucracy. Owner Bradley Gillette hails from England originally, but the bureaucracy is not just a fun place to drink and pretend you're across the pond, even if you're right on Seneca Lake. This is an authentic pub experience right down to the pot pies and most importantly, the cask ale. I just bought this 20 acre plot of land. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do with it. And then one of the biggest things I realized when moving over here was that there was a significant lack of car scale. So in the UK, you go to 90% of the bars or pubs and they'll always have three or four of these uh, British beer engines that they'll be pulling car scale from. Um, unfortunately, over here, you go into bars and pubs and they've all got the draft system. So it was really a lack of that, that when I was coming up with the concept of how we were going to differentiate ourselves, was really coming up with the component of car scale. Kind of edge against other breweries, but also help us to educate what the difference in flavour profile is from a car scale to a keg beer, which is going to be chilled down to 36 degrees, and then they've also got the forced carbonation in it. Um, so car scale, car scale goes into what's called secondary fermentation. During that secondary fermentation period, it takes on natural carbonation. So when it's ready to tap, it's basically just siphoned up to the actual glass using one of these beer engines. So it's pretty much the concept of the old wells out in the farmer's field where every pull of one of these is simply just siphoning the beer up from the cask below. So you've got each tap has one of these hoses hooked up to it underneath in where the cylinder is. So when he's pulling on that, it's sucking through the hose, through the check valve, up in there until the next pour. It's not warm, it's not flat, it's just not what most Americans are used to. Everyone's got their own palate. Some people coming in here are just not going to get it. For car scale, um, that natural carbonation is a softer bubble, so it actually allows kind of a smoother beer on your palate, as well as that temperature between 52 and 57, actually opening up your palate and allowing you to experience more flavors of the actual ingredients in the beer itself. For a while in the beginning, everyone was referring to us as a British brewery, which in essence we're really not. You know, George is diverse enough that he can brew any style of beer. Yep, our Steamship Stout is, I think, our best beer. It's the beer that we get the most compliments on. It's the one I'm most proud of as a brewer. It's all about variety. I don't like going to a brewery twice in a row and then having the same thing. So yeah, really our core lineup are going to be the British flagship ales. So things like your bitters, uh, your mild ales, your English IPAs, your stouts, your brown ales. But then also additional ones like Hefeweizens or Belgian doubles or New England style IPAs. Really just to help emphasize the whole concept of car scale.